Well, good morning everybody. We've uh, woken up. It's just gone uh, nine. I've put the airbag well, I've deflated the airbag and put the night um, clothes, sleeping bag, all of that type of stuff, or the quilt, inside the stuff sack so it's uh, just put away, ready for packing later. It's clothes to wear for the day, and then obviously waterproof jacket, lightweight one, which wasn't needed, wind shirt, which I didn't need at all. Well, I wore it two nights ago, but I didn't wear it last night. Um, and then obviously the kilt in case it rains or you just need extra cover or protection. I brought a cap, but on this occasion I brought my, my old faithful Tilly hat um, to try and keep the sun off my head a little bit more. Probably look a bit stupid, but when have I ever worried about looking stupid, eh? I'm just sitting here. Um, I put my old piece of Cuban down here. And then I'm just sitting literally on that, just in the doorway. So I've got just a little bit of air from the door, not inside the inner, on the ground to try and just cool off a bit. Just literally in my underwear and, and t-shirt that I wore during the night. So I will take the t-shirt off in a minute or a bit later before we get going. I'll keep the underwear on of course. I put my trousers and shirt on. I think Lassie has uh, found the water. We're of course camped right next to the water here. So she made her bed. She didn't sleep here. She could have slept in this space here. She found a very comfortable place. Right in that. So that's the view literally outside my trail star and that's uh, Darren's trail star over there okay well it's coming up to 11 o'clock which is about the time that we were planning on heading out we've packed up i'm gonna go and get some water in a moment we found this nice little stream just running down there nice and fresh packed all packed up i've got nibbly things in the pocket so i can eat on the way back to the car we had a very very nice camp here last night beautiful views around nice stream very comfortable okay as usual I was looking at my phone because there was a bit of a signal up here not looking where I was going and following this path here which God knows where that ends up going and Darren heading up on I'm pretty sure the correct path straight up to uh, Kitty Tor. So I'm just gonna go across this rough stuff here and catch up with uh, Darren over there. You can see down the valley down there. Okay, well, Kitty Tor is just up there and we followed an old trail down to here and then bleak houses over in that direction with gonna gonna goats tour just over there it looks like now they've tried to cancel out the path going straight trying to get you to go around because uh, the path that you would normally go straight on i think was so badly eroded that it, half of it doesn't even exist anymore and maybe they've been trying to do some work because you used to be able to walk to the left of these rocks here it's quite different coming down there this time it's been must be a couple of years at least since i walked down there because last year while i was camped near lint's tour last year i i went straight across if you remember in a video maybe august time or july august september time when I was uh, doing a, a walk showing off the Garmin Fenix and I went uh, straight, straight across. But now we're heading 
just past these cows here, hopefully Lassie leaves them alone. Making our way slowly over to Bleak House, just over there somewhere. We can't see it from here. As you found some water. Relatively easy path. Most of the walking now to the car is uh, relatively straightforward now. So Darren's just heading down there. Hopefully that path is okay for him. <laughs> As he disappears into the river. <laughs> He's got eat eaten by something down there. That's old uh, Bleak House. Good old Bleak House slowly falling apart. One part there, no longer standing, it's getting smaller and smaller. This is the first place I ever saw the Sioux nearly over 18 years ago. No Rattlebrook in the street. Okay, well, that's Darren heading along the path that's going to go to the left of Gunner Goat's Tour and by Great Lynx Tour, Chack Tour over there down the valley. I think that one on the horizon might be Great Mist Tour, but I'm not too sure. Of course, that one right in the middle is uh, Fair Tour. And of course, you actually you probably can just see in the middle, little knee set maybe, and then swing around there. There's a, a tour that I can't think what it's called offhand, and of course, Bleak House just down there. Of course, we did this walk coming along here when I did my video review of the Garmin Fenix 6X and it brought me across the path over that little bridge and then up here. It's just a very light breeze. It's very warm. The thermometer on the Garmin is measuring 47 degrees. I don't think it's quite that hot. I think it's getting a bit confused. It's not taking the temperature from my wrist. It's taking the temperature from gadget on my shoulder, right shoulder. It's called a temp. It's an external Bluetooth type thermometer. So it's not being confused by wrist temperature. But obviously it's being confused by a direct sunlight temperature because yes it's hot but i don't think it's 47. i think we'd have to be in arabia or somewhere like that for 47. <laughs> so we're just following this path along here Quite eroded in some places luckily because it's being so dry you can quite easily just walk across a lot of this. You could imagine this would be quite wet and boggy in the spring. In the spring, autumn and winter, or indeed, of course, a wet summer. Okay, well, we've reached the end of our walk back to where we magically met at the very beginning heading in that direction and Darren seems uh, as fit as when he started <laughs> I can't do what I want to do there's too many kids in the middle <laughs> I don't care oh, beautiful beautiful come on Lassie come on Lassie here Oh, yes. <laughs> 
Wir sind ein bisschen Cooling von mir fehlt. I think even Lassie wants to stay in the water. Well, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the notification button, all that usual malarkey. And I'll see you again. It's been absolutely brilliant. And from elbows, elbows, it, elbows, <laughs> and of course, thanks for. Thanks to Darren. Yeah, thank you for joining us on this little adventure. It was good. It was a good walk. And hopefully catch you again in the distant future. Yeah. <laughs>